Oh, hi there, guys. How'd you get from you know the flu being over here in Northern Ireland, and then there's like a gap here. Uh, getting flu up here, and then away over in Aberdeen within a few days, and then within just another few days, the entire country infected not just with the uh, Aussie flu. <laughs> Some little Aussie saying, all right, mate, maybe doing a bit of traveling, he's got the flu. He must have done a bit of traveling. And then you're getting a little Japanese guy, well, maybe sneezed down there in Portsmouth somewhere. Or is it Plymouth that's, uh, Portsmouth that's not got the flu, is that the only place that hasn't got it, or it might have it now? Cause that little little Japanese guy who came in and just visited them the other day, right? I mean, if you really believe any stories that the mainstream media put out, you must seriously be mentally ill. The only real question is, who, if you if you have the flu right now, uh, do we sue the British government for this? Do we sue the British government for this? Who is it we exactly sue? The, I'm Scottish. Do I sue the Scottish government? I'd love to sue the Scottish government. The Scottish government think that the it's like Stalinism all over again or something like that, or just like the Scottish government are freaking Nazis, you know? Um... Do you sue your local government? Do you sue the big boys down in London? Kept himself pretty clear of that flu just up until, oh, a few days ago. 85 deaths, they reckon, uh, just at the turn of the year, uh, after, after this flu epidemic just burst, burst out. The worst in 50 years, it says. 4.5 million. Does this look like 4.5 million to you? Looks more like 45 million that, that are being affected. Uh, hospitals are obviously that's the, probably their capacity in the whole of the UK because they've knocked most of them down. It started off I thought with uh, Aussie flu and now it's Japanese. So yeah. I was in the city of Glasgow, um, in a hotel, uh, speaking to some friends, and it was like, you watch maybe one of these Batman movies, where somebody sneezes, and then somebody else sneezes, and then somebody else sneezes, and it all just happens, seems to happen simultaneously. And then somebody starts coughing, another person starts coughing, and it's just like a chain cough that's what it was like um, never seen never heard anything like it before but it clearly wasn't some little Chinaman just jumping around was it outside or sit, uh, just sitting quietly watching the TV sneezing uh, you know nursing his little uh, Japanese flu let's see what the real reason was shall we well, it's taking quite a long time for the British government to admit that they are doing geoengineering. But that's what they call it. That's what they tell the pilots that they're doing. That's how the pilots start to spray this into the sky. And they'll get paid extra for doing that, of course. And they're just told, well, it's because of geoengineering. It's because, you know, the Earth is warming up. Or cooling down, or whatever story they're going to give them. But the real facts are, through independent scientists, that should be suing the crap out of every government on the face of the earth. This is the list, just just a list of some of the effects that it's having on people. Yeah? I mean, if it's going to affect your oxygen in the blood, if it's going to affect you know, the way your metabolism acts, if it's, it's going to affect your entire body and your mind, increasing allergies, 
increasing Alzheimer's, which means that your memory is, is, is not working the same. You know, people uh, start to forget things more, which is due to the aluminium buildup, which was within the chemtrails. They don't need this if they're using it for geoengineering, but they're killing us, man. Obviously, asthma, autism. Why would you get autism through just geoengineering? We're okay because there's mercury in there, right? Which is obviously damaging the plants as well. I see. Autoimmune disease. I thought I, th I thought they were just uh, altering the, the the planet climate for us. You know, they were just sort of like you know, just altering the climate control as you would in a living room. But they're actually spraying the living room with uh, deadly bacteria and, and giving you diseases. It's not very nice. Who's actually telling them to? it's okay to do this? It doesn't belong to them. This earth doesn't belong to them. Who's, who's giving them the thumbs up? Who's not suing their asses into oblivion? Okay. Uh... Personality disorder. I suppose that would happen if, uh, like, a planet is is dying, like the North Pacific is dying through Fukushima. Through you know, I suppose like if you're getting entire species wiped out, you're going to get some sort of personality disorder. Somebody's going to be upset about it, right? That's what they call a personality disorder. In case you you didn't know what that was, <laughs> cancer, of course, because there's also uh, Uranium, all types of uranium, and there's all types of uh, cancer-causing agents within the chemtrails, of course. I wonder how many pilots actually know that, you know, what they're doing, or actually stand up and protest about it. They'd probably lose their job, but at least they'd keep their soul, wouldn't they? Chronic fatigue, of course. Constipation, depression, easy bruising, eye problems... Uh, fibro. Well, I'm not really sure what that is. Fibromyalgia, floaters in the eyes, gastritis. That's that's quite a common one. Heart. Um. Arrhythmia, irregular heartbeat. Yeah, I must say I've been experiencing that. Uh, since I got this flu, at the weekend last weekend. Heart disease? Well, I mean, how many things can we sue these people for? Surely, let's get down there to the Queen's bench. If the Queen hasn't, you know, um, you know, sectioned it all off. Oh no, we can't have any justice anymore. Really? Get down there, man. March down there this morning. Take them all to court. Uh, learning disabilities, lung diseases. I would say dry skin. They've put oily skin here. I would definitely say it's causing uh, dry skin types of, of, of disease. You know, flaky skin. Uh, yeah. And by the way, of course, uh, if they're stopping the sunlight coming in, it's uh, stopping the vitamin D, which sunlight brings in. And yes, it's going to decrease your immunity to getting the flu in the first place. And so, just another little side note there. Uh, we got a doctor here, Dr. Len Horowitz. Sounds like a Jewish name. Well, at least uh, whoever he is, he's, he's standing up on uh, the side of humanity, so that's a good thing. A lot of people think that it's uh, maybe Jews that are doing this to us. You know, the very uh, well high up Jews, but here's a Jew standing against it. More symptoms linked with chemtrails. Uh, barium's another big ingredient. And apparently this... Uh, contributes very much to heart attacks so don't think people if you've had a relative who've died there's a, uh, from a heart attack 
oh well it's down as natural causes about chemtrails, about you going and sue the government because they killed whoever it was your auntie or your uncle or your cousin or your mother or father or son or daughter uh, this is some more symptoms of what people get Morgulin's disease is not an imaginary thing, it's a real thing, it's been studied these are fibres that are appearing uh, in people's bodies right there fibres yeah something has got to be done I would think that's the main reason they're doing it, you know I've made videos before you know the number one enemy of uh, the new world order is the sun because they're trying to block it out but it's not really that it's uh, I believe it's for technological purposes that they're doing this perhaps terraforming the earth as well but of course they're spraying disease as well they're using it to spray diseases on the farm animals then they're denying that they're actually doing it in the first place this was a man who obviously saw these things happen and he was so high profile he had to be silenced of course I think he was meant to be a Jehovah Witness but uh, or maybe it was the Jehovah Witnesses that knocked on his door and said I'm sorry you're speaking out of our policy and maybe they killed him that's that's not too far-fetched uh, a story because Jehovah Witnesses uh, you know you're in a cult like that and you speak against their policy they, they don't get too happy about that you know, they will get quite upset about that if you speak against uh, out of turn maybe it's not the Jehovah Witness policy to discuss chemtrails I dare say their leadership's probably uh, some of the ones involved in spraying the skies in the first place So, all over the world there's uh, pressure groups you know against uh, governments just trying to get governments to stop what they're doing well we're just doing it for uh, you know the, the cl earth climate you know and it's getting too hot yeah well the UK ain't getting too hot that's for certain there's no doubt about that I'm not gonna, I know that they're fabricating temperatures and saying, oh, you know, this year was a very warm year, two years ago was very warm. No, no it wasn't. Not in Scotland it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe the south of England it was quite warm, but I think even compared to back in the 70s and 80s, I, I really don't, don't think it'd be as, uh, as warm as it was back then, you know. Because that was a more natural heat that you had back then in these days now it's uh, all of it now is just whatever you're getting is just geoengineered it's false weather manipulated weather game trails are going into the water as well you know uh, into the soil into the air it's an all-out attack and it's also affecting what you might call the color the colors in the sky as well I think there's been a couple of very good videos made about that which may affect spirituality as well um, it may affect things in a number of other different ways here's just some advice of some of the things to take which help can help your body recover from the metals within the chemtrails um, from the bacteria and funguses uh, within the, the, the chemtrails colloidal silvers an interesting one 
uh, nanotechnology well they say magnesium post magnesium something uh, I'm not sure how to how I'd get hold of that but seems to be they're using nanotechnology to track every, every living thing on the planet there's been some very good videos made about that as well doesn't matter where you are in the northern hemisphere certainly uh, so almost impossible to escape it unless you're walking around with a mask on and bathing uh, in the morning in the evening then there's a chance uh, your body might not absorb these particles otherwise you have to take some measures to uh, get these things out of your body this is the battle we're facing it's not exactly a you know face to face battle as we're used to you know but this is an info war, certainly is an info war and uh, well we're in the midst of a, a, a very scary battle which uh, includes possibly terraforming the earth uh, changing the environment and a whole number of other things that we've probably not even considered yet of course the uh, transhumanism of course is another another thing to consider look how beautiful earth is just being destroyed by these uh, satanic governments which uh, I believe everyone should be lining up to, to sue them just simply to sue them incredible pictures really just so many pictures around the world and it's just it's just very sick it's not heartbreaking anymore it's just sick you're living in a a world which uh, is extremely extremely sick the people who apparently are running this world are sick beyond uh, measure I always remembered McDonald's to have MAC, but uh, it could have been a Mandela effect. But they're definitely uh, promoting chemtrails, that's for sure. Getting you to love the chemtrails. Wonder what's in the food that they're selling you. Except from, of course, uh, human body parts. very true saying for people who depend on the mainstream media for their news doesn't matter what your eyes see if your mind doesn't understand it or your mind's not being informed by the powers that you worship most people don't even know they worship the government but uh, most people do worship their government government yeah now if your creator is the create uh, if your god is the creator of the universe then you're going to see things like a child you're going to look at things and say well question it you know what is this if you're mind controlled if you're a mind control slave you look at it and say well the government hasn't told us what it is so it's normal i know it sounds crazy but that's you know that's what most of the people are like out there you know, it's, it's, I know it's sick, but yeah, this is uh, just a passenger jet, and there's some videos, of course, of pilots showing you the controls where they actually uh, deploy the chemtrails. One of them left the chemtrails on when he was landing the plane he forgot to turn it off causing the the airport to be filled with the, the chemtrails sure he got into real trouble for that uh, 
So yeah, there's some videos about the pole, sh pole shift happening, which uh, it's not such a big thing as uh, the geoengineering. I think it's Dale w Wingington. Um, yeah, I know, I know the videos that he's he's done on on the geoengineering. Very good. But uh, yeah, maybe some evidence of a pole shift as well. But uh, I don't think it's happened yet. But some very interesting videos on it of what could happen. I wonder if this geoengineering would, you know, help it happen. Um, obviously, Prince losing his life because he spoke out about it. I hope all Jehovah Witnesses start speaking out about chemtrails. Hope you all take his lead and don't be cowards. Step up, man. Maybe you don't have the flu this time, but can't you see that they're using it for a number of different things that you're not aware about, they're not telling you about. You don't know if you're going to be on the planet the next uh, few weeks or months or year. So stand up, bear witness to the truth, so that you're ready to face your Creator when the day comes. And uh, the Gospel is, you know, uh, believe that Yeshua died for your sin. So raised on the third day and you shall be saved and be baptized in his name believe in him be baptized in, in his name but uh, in doing this your flesh dies you die to self and you start living for God and you start fighting uh, the good fight you don't sit back in your living room you don't uh, join a cult uh, which uh, detracts from the gospel, which uh, does not teach the gospel. You have to stand up and join the, the battle which humanity are really unconsciously fighting at the moment. Um, but, you know, information gives you more of a consciousness, God says. The people who reject knowledge, I shall reject them as a priesthood. So if you want to be a priest of the Most High God, you're meant to examine information present knowledge according to the you know the Word of God and uh, pray about it all pray get together with other believers and pray if you can't pray with me online uh, if you can't uh, support my channel and I've got over 4,000 subscribers but about 1% of those watch my videos so uh, you know I can't you know say hey everybody click the little bell so you can get my videos look start making videos of your own you've seen a couple of my videos you know what they're about so start start doing something yourself I don't really care about the number of subscribers I get most important thing is the fellowship the sharing information uh, trying to help others to, to grow in their understanding and their application of the Word of God or you know for me to explain to people how I came to certain conclusions about let's say the Mandela effect like, I don't get upset with people I'm not upset oh, you know because people don't see things the way I see them but you know when you get a lot of information um, and you start to pray about it, you, you, you begin to get testimonies, God begins to give his testimonies about uh, his hand on things and sometimes we give victories in certain areas in our lives and we stop eating fast food you know and we start uh, getting a little bit healthier so uh, this is what we should be doing, encouraging each other and uh, you know being being there in order to help our families you know uh, understand God's Word as well and what's happening around us because very often times our families do not listen to us and so we need each other to be able to help help our families come around and understand what's going on but uh, just few people think about these things they're 
people are very 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 selfish these days very very self absorbed and selfish and Jesus just came to save me not you there's no empathy no love uh, within the, the, the so called body of Christ or the churches in the world they're just all dead in their sin uh, chasing miracles you know didn't you hear the miracle I did last week uh, not really no, I was I was busy doing something else my friend I you know I'm sorry <laughs> you know they look at you as if uh, you're, you're, you're just a number to them you know to follow them on Instagram or something like that doing their little miracles and praying for people all the best to them but I mean did Jesus do things that way and the Lord's used me to, 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 you know, like, for praying for people. Sometimes you feel in the spirit, oh, today it feels as if God wants me to pray for someone. Or you don't even need to lay hands on them. You can just pray for them in your bed. Or just kneel down and pray for them. You know. But people want to get the fame these days. They want to get, the, get it on the YouTube or Facebook or something. And, you know build their build their ministry up and all that which Jesus never did the apostles never did and they say well they, they didn't have Facebook back in these days well I can guarantee I know my God I know my Savior I know I know the apostles and they would never in a billion years have, have, have done that uh, miracles and healings were a way 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 down the schedule of walking with the Lord Jesus Christ one of the most important things is love is uh, helping each other is also um, keeping God's word is uh, preaching yeah telling people about the good news of Yeshua these are the important things you know your Philip Schofields of this world your daytime TV hosts all these freaks out there never tell you um, the truth of what's happening how people are getting you know it used to be through smoking people getting lung cancer now it's now they're chemtrailing the um, their chemtrailing is all to death now you know if it's not one thing it's another you know if they stop chemtrails what you know what else are they going to come up with already get these these uh, bots you know that look like uh, mosquitoes as well you know so uh, let's just uh, pray to the Lord always as, as the Apostle Paul says pray without ceasing you can't do that through your mouth verbally but when you get born again through the Holy Spirit then that's when uh, you get you can get a prayer language you can start praying without ceasing the Apostle Paul did pray in heavenly tongues as well because he said he did and you can't pray without ceasing without having the gift of tongues and so God bless you all thanks for watching stay safe out there take vitamin D